What is up everyone? This is totally random back here with another video. But uh, anyway guys, so yeah uh, Is the Captain Marvel's Rotten Tomato score back or the audience anticipation score back uh, still essentially the same more people though I put on the want to see the 21,000 but um As I said before in my previous videos if you did not know already uh, Captain Marvel took down the audience anticipation score the want to see score for Captain Marvel where you could say if you're in, not interested or you want to see. And the want to see was at a 26% what I've heard. I saw it at a 27%, but everyone I saw on other channels and everywhere were saying like, yo, it was at 26% just before they uh, clicked it away. And I heard some people even say 25, but I don't know. All I saw was the 26%. I actually saw people, you know, screenshots showing the 26%. But uh, Rotten Tomatoes took it down and we know it's because of Disney. Um, there's it, There is a... Fandango present or something one of the guys big guys up there He used to work for Disney and he loves the MCU. So we all know there's something along with that We know we know we've no factual proof about it, but we know they took it down for this one reason and uh, Yeah, and it's scary because first of all Comcast and Warner Bros uh, And Fandango essentially basically owns Rod Tomatoes. So I remember the first time I said it, I was like, this is kind of weird because, you know, I feel like Warner Bros. would be like, yes, let this happen. Let Marvel feel how we feel right now. Let their score drop, you know, but um, essentially Warner Bros. probably didn't even know about it. They were just probably uh, not paying attention to it at the moment. But um, obviously they're probably aware of it now, but they, it's too late. You can't change it. And now they're saying also that we were, audiences were uh, review bombing the uh, episode nine for Star Wars, which essentially, no, that wasn't happening quite yet. I think I don't know what it was at 80 something percent maybe 90 I don't know but um essentially this was photo was bombed they're calling us trolls you know as you said we aren't trolls <laughs> these are actual genuine people who are saying yo I don't want to see this movie because Brie Larson keeps spewing her mouth saying SJW politics I need she doesn't care about the opinions of white males you know uh, she said racist stuff about them and it's you know I think it's completely rude and uncalled for coming from a person from the Marvel Universe and the fact, you know, we've all criticized Kat, uh, Brie Larson because she essentially is like a plank of wood, as Ethan Van Syverwood says. She's just a plank of wood trying to act, you know. Her face is a plank of wood. Shows no emotion, doesn't smile. You can't discover anything about her character out of all the trailers, you know. She just says, like, uh, I'm a noble super warrior, and I'm going to end it, you know. Like, I'm like, okay, man, just... Honestly, the trailers would be better if they just put tape over her mouth because she can't act. I really just honestly, this is the first trailer I've seen like she can't act. Like Black Scarlett Johansson, you know, and um, what's her name? Mary Kate Olsen, Olsen, whatever the person who plays Scarlett Witch. Both of those are great actors I've seen, okay? But Brie Larson, my goodness, like this is coming from an Oscar winning actress. You know, she cannot act. And it's just whatever they told her, the directors, they did a ter terrible job. Or the marketing team, as I said before, has just done a horrible job. I mean, they've done a horrible job, period. Because this movie, I was hyped for this movie after Endgame. And now I'm just like, I'm just seeing it because, you know, I want to give a review on it. I'm hoping it's bad. And I want to tell people don't watch it, you know, essentially. I said before, I'm going to watch this garbage. I'm going to watch this crap. So you guys don't have to watch it, you know. And if it's a good movie, I'll suck up and tell you it's a good movie, okay. But uh, I told people, essentially, you know, about people boycotting the movie. If you want to go see it, just don't watch it on this first weekend. Watch it on the second weekend. Because the first weekend, you know, with Solo, similar to Solo, is where you send the message to Disney. Like, yo, we're not putting up with your SJW identity politics bull, uh, BS and all that crap that you're giving us. We're not putting up with it. Enough's enough. You know, don't ruin the MCU, okay? The MCU's been there for 10 years. And all of a sudden, this one freaking girl, Brie Larson, just going to end it all of a sudden, you know? Because she can't keep her mouth shut. And they just want to, you know, feminism and all this in the movie. But anyway, all right. So back on the audience score. As I said before, you know, the anticipation score, the want to see score. Is it back? Okay. So quickly, if you go, my face is about to disappear. But uh, if you go to the Marvel, click on the MCU portion of uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. And you scroll down. Keep scrolling down. All right. Just keep scrolling down. Look, it's back at a 38%. It says the 38% now. So they, I don't get what Rotten Tomatoes has done. You know, Avengers Endgame there is a 98%, which I believe it's gone down. Or I don't know why it's gone down, honestly. But um, Captain Marvel, it was at a 26%. That's what we've heard and said. I saw it at a 27 but everyone was saying it was at a 26% before they took it down. Now it's at a 38%. So, I mean, I don't know why it's there because I thought they, you know, took it down because of the trolls, you know, the 
the Russian bots and whatnot, but uh, there it is, the 38%. It's up 12%. And uh, the reason why, I, I, uh, I saw this all from SC Reviews, uh, his channel, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's up 12% because, you know, they took away the not interested portion, basically, of it. You can only say you want to see it, so everyone who's gone up there has said, essentially, I want to see it, and that's why it's up at 38%. If not, it would still probably be lower because then people who want to give their honest opinion would say they don't want to see the movie. But uh, I, I think this is weird with <laughs> with Rotten Tomatoes. I think they're going to take this down as people start talking about this. More and more channels that start talking about this. They're going to, all these articles are going to start coming out and be like, oh, look, oh, Rotten Tomatoes did take down all the trolls yet. Look, it's still up there. Look at their people spewing hate still. The audience reviews are still up there review bombing it, even though clearly we're not, you know, but they're going to twist it to some sort of narrative that it's, that, uh, that the, the trolls, the Russian bots, and everyone are still up there trolling this movie. It's at 38%, you know. Luckily, you know, the true audience people have gone up there and tried to boost the score to what it should be, you know. Even though, in fact, that it's it's genuine audience people who brought the score down to 26%. And now it's going back up because there aren't any people saying they're not interested. Because they took that away, you know. It's just people saying who want to see it. And that's why it's at 38%. This movie comes out less than a week. They're saying it's going to make this much money. Oh, it's going to make this. I just don't see it making $100 million. I just can't see it. They're talking about in China how it's going to do. Oh, it's going to do this. And I'm like, they're, they're just saying, oh, this one guy, because he's predicted done this and that. Oh, it's going to make amount, the amount of money a civil war, which I don't think. I do not think for one second this movie is going to do well in China. It's going to bomb outside of the U.S. It's going to do... It's going to make money here in the U.S. on the opening weekend, but after that, it's not going to be. And I'm encouraging Shazam, if the guys, Warner Bros. is watching this, to move your movie up a couple of weeks so you can compete with this garbage movie that's about to come out. This movie's only going to make money on its first weekend, and after that, it's going to tank, I'm telling you. But, um, anyway, guys, the Rotten Tomatoes score says it's at a 38% now. Uh, so is it back? Um, sure, sure, the, Rotten, the audience score is uh, back. <laughs> For now, just watch him take it down after after I after this video comes out or whatnot. But um, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below with whatever you want to say. Um, as I said before, don't know. I, I I'm supporting you guys. If you want to boycott this movie, by all means, do that. Uh, I'm set up for. I'm gonna watch this crap for you. And uh, you know, you guys will lose brain cells watching this movie. Your IQ score will drop probably. Hearing Brie Larson's voice is just gonna make you want to curl into a ball. You know. Um, She's, you know, said the racist comments and whatnot. Uh, so I, by all means, boycott it. I'm going to watch this crap for you, you know. And I'll tell you guys if it's crap or not. But uh, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below with whatever you want to say. Give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join my channel. And make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, guys, be amazing.